What started as a fringe comic book convention for a small group of fans has grown into the pop cultural event of the year, influencing every form of entertainment and drawing in over 130,000 attendees. So where did this cultural phenomenon begin? Let's go back to 1970, when three comic book professionals, Shel Dorf, Ken Kruger, and Richard Alf, banded together to organize Southern California's first comic book convention. This three-day event was called San Diego's Golden State Comic Con and was held at the U.S. Grant Hotel. The special guests included science fiction writer Ray Bradbury and famous artist Jack Kirby. Over 300 attendees packed into the hotel's basement for that groundbreaking event, which featured a dealer's room, programs and panels, film screenings, and more. It it was essentially the model for every comic book convention to follow. The event officially became the San Diego Comic-Con in 1973. It was in 1974 when the first Masquerade debuted, an annual parade for cosplay and fan-made costumes with large prizes presented to the winners. In 1976, the publicity supervisor of an unheard-of sci-fi film hosted a panel showing slides on a projector to a somewhat skeptical audience. That film was Star Wars, and thus began the practice of promoting films at Comic-Con in hopes of reaching fans like never before. In 1979, Comic-Con moved to the Convention and Performing Arts Center and stayed there until 1991, when the new San Diego Convention Center opened. Comic-Con has called it home ever since, but the convention was still very different from the one that we know today. As comic book movies have become increasingly important to Hollywood, the big box office success of X-Men in 2000 is generally considered the turning point for the con. Click to watch this awesome video we made about the history of comic book movies. Hollywood took another look at this comic book convention that had never previously attracted much of their attention, and they found that they should promote their comic-related projects. More involvement in movies and television at Comic-Con led to more mainstream media attention and a wider base of attendees. Wow. The attendance has increased almost 60% in the last decade. Movie studios know that their core fan audience attends these conventions, and that they need to amuse and excite them in order to spread good buzz about a movie. Around 2004, the convention center opened up Hall 8, to be used as a giant 6,500 seat auditorium for large presentations by Hollywood Studios. Today, fans are known to camp out for days to get a seat in this legendary auditorium to see a first sneak peek at their favorite franchises. Remember when Zack Snyder announced Batman vs Superman? Or when Andrew Garfield took the mic in a Spider-Man costume? Moments like this keep people on the edge of their seats each year. Since 2007, tickets for the event have completely sold out, and in 2011, tickets sold out in the first day of the sale, a trend that has continued since. The attendance in the convention center has reached 130,000 people in recent years, and those fans love to spend money. The event pumps $180 million into the local economy of San Diego. Today, Comic-Con occupies a giant exhibit hall topping over 460,000 square feet, featuring a massive programming schedule of 600 separate events spread over four days covering comics and all aspects of the popular arts. But the Comic-Con experience goes beyond the convention center. It now extends to local hotels, bars, restaurants, Petco Park Stadium, Nerd HQ, Walking Dead Zombie Run, Game of Thrones pedicabs, and so much more, transforming the city into a world right out of the pages of fantasy and science fiction. It's more than just buying action figures of your favorite Ninja Turtle. It's a place where fans can celebrate and interact with their favorite media. So what's the future of Comic-Con? San Diego approved $520 million of expansion to the convention center to make Comic-Con even bigger and better for fans. With the increasing popularity of the event and comic book movies, it's a fun time for fans everywhere. Are you excited for Comic-Con? What's your favorite part of Comic-Con? Let us know in the comments below, and get ready for whatever crazy and awesome moments come this year. Stay tuned to Super Comic Fun Time for more original Comic-Con videos to be in the know about this extraordinary event.